Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to the first interview brought to you by the Swiss Dota community. This is the first of what will be a series of interviews which of players which are par participating in the base camp league. And today with me is the captain of Rise Gaming, Crush. So Crush, tell us something a bit about yourself, like your real life name, hobbies, stuff like that. Yeah, sure. Um, so, hello, my name is uh, Crush, since you already introduced me. Um, I am called Aaron Marek, which is my name, and I'm playing Dota 2 for Rice Gaming. Um, I played Dota for like 10 years, and yeah. Okay, nice. How did you get into Dota? Um, well, I guess just like every casual player I play in Dota 1, I played um, fun maps and eventually I found out that Dota is a really cool map, so um, I just went with that, I guess, and played it for fun. Uh, I then found out that from Dota League, which was like uh, a site uh, created for uh, pubbing, something like that, and yeah, and some league systems, so I just joined up there, gathered with some friends and went for competitive. Okay, nice. So you actually started competitive in Dota 1 already? Um, yeah. I was playing in Division 2 and Division 1 in Dota League with my teams. Like, it was Competo back then. We were actually quite good, I think. Okay, nice. Um, at the moment, are you like playing Dota full-time or like beside the job or are you studying? Um, well, I'm working like part-time, I'm working like 20 hours a week, so I can just um, handle playing more Dota. Um, I actually have a wife and a child already, so I really need to get some money out of Dota as well, since I'm just part-time working, but it's going really good. Um, my organization is very supportive, shout out to Rise Gaming there, and um, also we play some small, smaller tournaments, I would call them, where we also can get some uh, gear or um, gear to sell eventually, or even uh, small price monies. Yeah. Okay, nice. How did you actually uh, meet up with Rise Gaming? Did you like uh, go towards them, or did they find out about you? Well, um, it's actually quite funny since the, I think I would never join a organization. I, I thought I would never join an organization that would like make a post somewhere that they are looking for a team, but. That's just what it was. I was like really curious because I read the, the post and it was I clicked the web page and they were actually looking really good. They had a strong Counter Strike team and when I talked to them, I realized they're also not um, like some other organizations just uh, talking a lot of weird stuff which will not happen. So well, they were actually really really nice and straight and I liked that. So yeah, we set up a deal. Okay, that actually sounds really nice. So how long have you been with Rise Gaming now? Um, I think it's like, like um, maybe eight months right now, seven months, something like this. I don't know the exact really. Okay, but so you're like more stable than most pro teams at the moment. Um, yeah, we actually had some roster changes. We started off with an um, all Austrian lineup, uh, which is my, the country I come from, um, and we went for a qualifier, which for IESF. I don't know if you heard about it. I think there is actually as well a Swiss qualifier that you are hosting, so you might oh, yeah. know about exactly. it. And the last year there was, I think, no Switzerland team, but there was an Austrian team. So we uh, went to practice to qualify for that. We got signed by Rice Gaming and. Um, well, we didn't do good in the qualifiers, actually. We went out in the best of one, but uh, and then we eventually disbanded because we just formed for that. But I was um, telling Rice Gaming that I'm interested in building up an international team again. So um, I found those guys. Yeah. Okay, nice. So maybe before we go into your team, tell us something about like your Dota, Dota life, like your most played heroes, maybe your favorite hero. Like that. Um, yeah, sure. Well, my most played heroes, mm -hmm. it's different in pubs than in competitive, I guess. So I don't know which with which I should go. Well, which um, is your most played hero in pubs? In pubs, it's Storm Spirit, actually. I think he's capable of, um, like, even if you lose on the lane, you can just do the most by yourself with solo killing people and such. I don't really like to rely on my teammates in, in solo games because. Yeah, I'm not even that high MMR because I didn't nerd it, so <laughs> yeah, I, I what just is try to have MMR? fun. My MMR is actually 5k, which is really not um, high, but 
Yeah, Matrice has of my team. The carry player has like six thousand six hundred right now, if I'm right. And okay. yeah, Jeps also is playing pop. He has like six thousand three hundred. So yeah, I'm just not really into it, or I'm failing at it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have a hard time grinding those rank games as well. <laughs> and what's your most played hero then in in uh, competitive? Are you the support <coughs> player for your team, or...? Um, I'm actually playing offlane in my team. I'm, I think my most played heroes are Batrider, Bristleback, and... Oh, Axe, if, if we get our hands on him, you know. He's mostly banned right now, so... Yeah, those yeah. are my most played heroes. Is offlane also your preferred role, or... It just, like, fit with the team? Actually, I, I like to play mid the most. I also think it's my best role. I'm still kind of adap adapting to offlane again. I'm switching around in teams. I think a good player is capable of playing every role at at least a decent level and he can learn mastering it. So that's what I'm trying right now with this team, with this lineup. I'm still trying. Um, Japs is a really, really good mid player. I don't like to give my uh, mid lane to a lot of other people, but he definitely deserves it. So. I'm fine. Okay, that's nice when you got a good team like that. Yeah. So maybe a, like a story when you started started out with Dota One like way back. Do you have like any funny story that really stuck to your head? Like that also maybe made you keep on playing Dota, Dota all these years. Um, sure. Well, I I don't know. I don't think it's funny, but it's um a story at least. So I'll go with that. Um, it's I've been always pretty good in Dota 1, I think there was not even any competition compared to now, like right now there is money into it, there are sponsors into it, even really nice amateur tournaments are outside there where you can uh, gain more money than you could back in the days with Dota 1, there were like the biggest game, biggest tournaments like 300 euros and that people were really happy to get it, like it, it wasn't even for the money, but of sure, but it was like really good winning something with that game, so um, I think the competition was way lower, lower and um, we were because of that really good, but we kind, were kind of just addicted by the game, so um, I played with like Ede, which is a known German player, I would say. We were like in Competo, uh, even in Diamonds back in the days, and, and he was. Uh, his mates are like Holy Hexer, um, Blow Me, Strike, uh, like just German old school players. Neno, okay. if people know him. They're like really known people in the Dota scene usually. Some of them still went with Dota 2. Hexer went for like movie making. Neno went with uh, Goomba and such team, yeah. And now Ede is actually part of Goomba as well, so that's where I come from basically. These were my first good people I played with, I would say, and that really motivated me. Like, I was a random guy, never playing in any good team, and then I was suddenly captain of Compito, which were like uh, Diamonds players, like four Diamonds players. So I was really getting hyped back then. I actually didn't perform too well and I, um, I realized that they're just way better than me, so I even got out of that team. Um, I think that's what really, really drives me, or drove okay. me. That's that's a really cool story, like, that you know, know all these guys, like I know, like, Holy Hexer and some of the other names you said I've also heard of, so they're still also in the yeah. scene. And how did you end up in the captain slot? Or like, I know there's not in like a lot of people that are good at captaining and stuff, but it's, for most teams it's kind of hard to find like that one guy you can, who really wants to be captain. Yeah, well, back in the days I was pretty young. I think I just, to be honest, I started because a really bad reason, because I think I didn't want to listen to other people, because I always thought I'm, uh, I'm better or something, like a kid's mindset. But right now, I think I just have so much experience from playing like 10 years, maybe 8 years competitive. So I think in almost every team, I would have the most experience or a lot. And since I was in the captain's seat for, for a long time there, um, yeah, that's that's why I'm good right now. But in generally, yeah, I, I don't know. I just like to take uh, stuff in my hands, you know. I like to give orders. It's It's kind of just how I am, I guess. Okay, but that's nice if it like really fits you. So are you also the one who does like most of the shot calling in the team or are there the other people also making calls? Well, um we in generally I make the draft and the game plan with like a little bit help of my team. Um we we start up I I have a like concept of banning two heroes and uh, getting my hands on two heroes. 
Uh, and then we see how draft develops kinda and in, in the drafting stage I do most stuff of my own I would say and in like I, I asked him for heroes like if opponents have a shadow of and I'm asking I'm saying yeah Quop would be like uh, a good fit um, do, is it okay for you that the mid player needs to confirm and, and reset for example and that was just an example pick so um, and in game it's I, I don't know. I think the, as the game develops, people have to make their own calls as well. That's my concept, kind of. It's like uh, if something happens to to the offlaner, he surely have to ha give the call. You know, he, like supports are missing. He they had a smoke. Like they rewarded my offsword. Like any single shit. Just people yeah, are sure. talking with each other. I think it's just interacting. I don't think and like decision making. Hmm. I I try to do it mostly, but um, I I, would, I don't know. Like everyone gives a call from time to time if he thinks he's right, and we trust each other. So if anyone is really giving out something, we're all jumping on. Sure, I guess that's the most important thing. That in like especially in the late game, that it doesn't matter who gives the call. If everybody like trusts that call and goes that way, then exactly. Sure, sure Only one of out. the five needs to have the eye, the others can just walk, it's fine. Really nice, yeah. So have you met the other people in your team yet, in real life, or just um, online so far? Um, actually, not uh, all of them yet. I played with Matrice in a team before, in Fourreur it was called, it was a French organization. Um, we went to Epiclan in England there, to play there, so I met him there. Um, others are Japs, which is a kind of um, new guy to me. He's Swedish and German, so oh, I, I never heard about him before. I just found out he played for some good teams like Four Friends and those Swedish stacks stand in. Um, I didn't met him yet. Uh, about um, Miranda, I, di I also didn't met. He's from Serbia, also kind of um, yeah. Newcomer, I would say. He didn't play for a lot of known teams, but he has also like decent MMR and he he's really a try hard. So um, and Lea GG, I was he was also playing with us in Fura, but he eventually didn't made it to the land, so we didn't met yet. But we all know each other for pretty long. Japs is kind of the new guy for us, but he's really really skilled and yeah, making up for that. Okay, nice. So you all get along really well. Yeah. Also outside of the game and stuff. Yeah, we're really fine with each other. Okay, that's good for like also the synergy and everything. Yeah, so maybe a bit about uh, like base camp, the league you're playing in right now. Um, what are your your expectations? Well, our expectations from the tournament or from well, or reaching the slot. Uh, I mean, about the tournament, I mean, now that you're in. Have you played the group stage game yet? Um, we have played the first group stage match. It was like um, pretty easy, I would say. It was a 15 to 1 score, so I could can really say that. Um, we know that we are in the group with give us the laptops or something, and they're they're actually commander minus. They're like slash strike and those Bulgarians, which are like very decent players. They went, I believe, second in MSI Dragon Battle. They kicked out Vega and such, so uh, we definitely got a good opponent in our group. Um, we have another match to today, actually. Um, and I don't know what to think about the others, I don't know them. Um, I'm looking confident to go up uh, since the first two advance. And I think there are some really nice teams as well, like My Insanity, Gods, um, I think I saw Cyclones, um, I don't remember all of them now, but I, I was looking at some really decent teams, so I'm looking forward to play them. And yeah, our goal is definitely top two, um, uh, hoping for first, of course, rooting, aiming for first. Okay, nice, so I guess we should uh, watch out for you once the brackets, play, uh, brackets plays begin. Yeah, I guess so, I hope so. <laughs> So where do you see your team in the in the near future or also the longer future? Do you think you can uh, make it to some bigger lands or what do you Well, think we got invited to play a well invited to a main qualifier round. It's really hard nowadays. 
Um, so the other people have to qualify for that qualifier. We got invited in with teams like Balkan Bears, um, Vega and XKC and such, which might tell you, uh, even my insanity is also in there and some, some yeah, other yeah, really yeah, good I teams. Yeah, I know all of those. Okay, wh whatever. There are good teams, all right. And um, we just need to place good in this group stage for a, like a 10,000 euro line event as well. So that's actually something we aim for right now. Um, we actually also consider your tournament uh, really high, like uh, the same actually, um, because there are really good prices in your tournament, to be honest. And yeah, I think there's not much outside like that. So those two are the tournaments we focus the most on. And if we do good on one of those or even on both, I think we can really, really uh, look at going up and if not we might need to think about something we also play a little uh, a lot of small tournaments but yeah like join dota league and such is also going on always we play a ugc league uh, we're also on top bracket over there so we got our stuff but those two are what we're really really aiming for okay that's nice to hear so are you like really practicing like almost every day as a team at the moment as well well, we used to practice like six to eight hours a day actually in Rice Gaming always. Um, recently our um, pl player, Japs, um, he has like to make to grad graduation. He has to like write his final exams right now. Okay. Like they're really, really important. So we kind of, we kind of sloppy, I would say, but we have to do this. And yeah, we're just like on hold for one or two weeks we have been actually and tomorrow he writes his last exam and from then on we're ready to go again so okay, we will practice like six hours again every day and six to eight hours nice that sounds really cool so i guess that kind of also rounds up this interview so far uh you have any shout outs to organization sponsors stuff like that yeah, sure. Actually, just shout out to Rice Gaming and uh, Cherry MX Keyboards and Subway. Thanks. Shout out to all my friends and uh, viewers. And yeah, thank you for the interview. Okay, no problem. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And make sure to follow Rice Gaming at their website and also follow Swiss Dota community on Twitter and Facebook so you can make sure you follow the tournament and the bracket play that is to come soon oh yeah and you could follow me on at crush dota as well ah yeah of course sorry for <laughs> missing oh, that that's actually me missing it so <laughs> it's good